Hello, everybody. How are you? Give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. If you need to back out for a second, back out to give a thumbs up and then come back on in. Thomas Smith is here. How are you? Lynette Kama is here. How are you? How's everybody doing today? Today is going to be such a fun day. We have an amazing recipe that we're making. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Who's all excited? Jacqueline Jackson is here. And Patricia B is here. Terrell Unknown is here. Team is here. Maddie's here. Lynn is here. Beth is here. Everybody's here. We're going to have fun. We are going to have fun. Happy Thursday. The week is almost over. Who's excited about that? Kizzy is here. Felicia and Mildred and Paula. Cat lovers here. If I don't mention your name, it's not intentionally. Okay. David, hello. Latricia, Amy, and Nicole, and Kimball is here. Lottie's here. Uh, uh, Angela, is that? Okay, great. Is this computer uh, fully charged? Hold on, guys. Is this computer fully charged? Yeah. Okay, can you put it in there and plug it up? Plug it up to the thing. Go get your shoes and socks on because you got to get ready for personal training tonight. Hello, Lakita and Beverly, Kenny J and Donnie. Let me see what that name is. How do you pronounce it? Da, 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 Ann. You have to tell me how to pronounce that. Lottie is here and Alex is here. Doreen is here. How's everybody doing? Listen here. I know everybody that's in here. 258 of you. And hardly anybody gave a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Back out for a second if you have to to give a thumbs up and come back in here. Drexa's here. Dee Dee is here. Naomi and Lily's here. Miss Karen, how are you? Robin, Valencia Pickett is here. Jasmine and Vicki, Linda Green, Derek Eads, how are you? Lynn Lang and Tammy is here. Carolyn, there's another Tammy. <laughs> Sonia says hello to everybody. How's everybody doing? Lisa Braxter, great. All right, guys, I am so, so, so happy to be with you today. I tell you one thing, Saj is here. Hello, Marilyn. Um, Adrian is here. Gwen. Derek E says, I'm here. He's here and he's on time. Kat is here today. I'm so excited for everybody. Um, now, you know, what I'm really excited about is, what? I got a hair in my eye. I feel like it. But um, what I'm really excited about is for you all to see how easy it is. And also for those of you that's gonna be cooking with me today, I can't wait for you to taste the chili. Listen here, I can't because the chili is so good. You're gonna be able to have it for leftovers tomorrow. You're gonna take it to work and people are gonna be like, yum, uh, it smells good. <laughs> Can I have some? <laughs> that's what they're gonna tell you. Oh, I got something in my eye. Oh, Lord. Do you guys remember when your parents would uh, blow in your eye if you had something in your eye and made it all better? <laughs> my parents would blow in my eye if I had something in my eye, and they say, does that feel better? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay, you're looking from Houston. Okay, Martha. Welcome. Oh, Lord. So, I, it has to be like a hair. Need 150. Hi, Ron Wilson. How are you? Drew Moss is here. How are you? David Vogel. Saj. One more time. G. Fergus is here. And Addie Dantley is here. Q. Dizzle is here. You coincidentally made chili right before this video. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. 
All right, Andrea Wade is here. Laul is here. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I would say pour water, but it mess up your makeup. Yeah, yeah, I'd be a mess in here. <laughs> I would be a total disaster if I did that. I can barely put uh, eye drops in my eyes. I'm excited. We're having chili here at the Young's house. I do have to use the restroom. <laughs> I really do. It, look, it was six o'clock on the dot and I realized I need to turn this live on like right now. And I really wanted to use the bathroom before, but can you guys wait like two minutes on me? <laughs> Let's see, please do a video on how to clean a hog and make chitlins. How to clean a hog? Or maybe you're saying hog mocks. Maybe. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. I have to use the restroom. Thank you, Felicia. It's gonna be two minutes, and I might not even be that. And I'll be right back. We're gonna talk. Tell the people as they come in to give a thumbs up. I'll be right back. I was going to bed and well I was getting into bed and I wanted to drink some of that um, you know the vitamin C powders that you can put into water that's what this is here um, but I got this bright idea this is like in the middle of the night I'm like somebody told me to take vitamin C I whip open a pack of vitamin C. I got a nice cup of ice cold water. I get ready to get in the bed. I knock that ice cold water all over my computer and destroy my computer. My computer no longer works. So <laughs> at the last minute, my husband went running for another computer. We got another computer set up and I'm so happy. So I have been stressed out pretty much all, all of my day today. And I, I'm so happy now. <laughs> the stress is gone. The stress is gone. I, water everywhere. So it's the middle of the night. I'm making a bunch of noise. And I'm thinking, my husband's going to wake up. He's going to wonder, what's going on? Because I got the mop in the mop bucket out. I got water all over my bed, water all over my computer. It was a whole disaster. <laughs> I just wanted to cry. But there is a God. <laughs> there is a God. And I'm so grateful. <laughs> okay okay so dominique okay well let me see how you pronounce your name dimonique reed love you be careful i'm kind of shy but hi everyone hope everyone's day was fabulous ready for some chili everybody welcome dimonique reed to gina young's channel listen here welcome so much uh we're happy to have you here Okay, all right, listen here. You need to bring the thumbs up up. We gotta make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here, okay? We gotta wait on that to happen. Hi, Brandy, how are you? Dee Brown is here. Christopher is back. How are you, Tori and Angela Cooper, Marshara, Kathina, 
Latika, Lakita, Kizzy Baby is saying welcome. Everyone's saying welcome. We thank you for picking up the new computer. Yeah, because at literally like within the last half an hour, I was trying, we was trying to set up this new computer and I'm like, oh Lord, I need it for the live. I gotta be able to watch the, <laughs> I gotta be able to, <laughs> to look at the comments. So everything worked out because God was right there with me, trying to let me know, listen girl, relax. Like everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome. Let me ask you this real quick. How many of you, Drew Moss, how many of you guys are going to be cooking chili with me tonight? We're just waiting on a few people to get in here. The quality is great. Thank you, Angela. And I actually don't have my um, new microphones in yet. I'm going to plug that microphone in right before I go to the other side of the island. And I want you guys to, um, to let me know how the sound is, okay? Because these are new microphones that we're testing out. And you know how we had like, it, it always sounds kind of funky. And I kind of have to yell across the room for you guys to hear me. So, well, I don't have the microphone on now. As soon as I go over that way to start cooking then i want you guys to let me know how the sound is and i'm just going to talk in my regular voice i'm not going to scream i want to know if you guys can hear me good like you can hear me now okay oh if you're cooking with me tonight because i didn't read any um messages give me a red heart in the comment section real quick i just want to have an idea who's cooking today my holy king how are you Hello, Gina. I hope you're feeling after, uh, awesome after your procedure. I'm feeling great. I have a whole lot of energy. Praise God. You made chili yesterday. Oh, my goodness, Kimball. Okay, and Amy. Okay, not cooking. And it's okay if you're not cooking. You know, we got Jobina is cooking. Oh, you use Hormel chili. Yeah, okay. Um, Stephanie Living Doll and Valencia is cooking. Okay, this is exciting. Okay, I hope everyone's cooking tonight. Enjoy their meal. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Okay, glad to hear that, Gina. Thank you. I'm not cooking, but I'm here. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's bring the thumbs up up. And we're going to make our way around that way. I'm going to go ahead and get my apron on so I don't mess up my shirt. And we're gonna get started. When is the last time you all had a big old pot of chili? I'm here to watch. Okay, Avalon boys. Tori Carter, how are you? Cherie, Holly, you enjoy watching. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you're here to watch. Q is here, hello. You're taking notes, okay. It's been a while, mostly in the winter. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I totally understand. I know someone in the message section, they went nuts and they was like, I can't, something about, guess, guess what, guys? Okay, so somebody kind of went nuts on me in the comment section and they were like, uh, Chili did not win. And I'm thinking, and so I messaged the person back and I said, you must not, I don't remember what I said. I, I might have said something along this line. Like, um, in the live, we, um, you know, I did a poll, and the poll started at 8 o'clock, and it ended at 8.15, and it proved that, you know, Chili won, and she was just going nuts about it. She was like, something else really won, and I'm thinking, you, you, didn't, you, don't, you don't even know. You weren't even there. <laughs> it was nuts so hopefully she understands that when I put that poll up uh, I open it up from a certain time we close it at a certain time and then we you know we see which one has the the most numbers how many of you are ready to cook right now or do you need a few more minutes I know drew I know drew totally nuts <laughs> Is there
here a trick to cut down on the after effects of the beans. Uh, I don't believe so because I, there, there's a whole song about it. Beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat it, the more, you know. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, let's go ahead. I got my little microphone on. I want y'all to let me know. It, it's in here. You see that? That's my microphone. I'm hiding it under my shirt. We'll just see how this goes. And then here's the rest of my microphone. All right, let's do this. I'm plugging my microphone. Boom. Tell me this right now. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, thank you. I washed my hair. I was washing. Guys, I was blow drying my hair while they was trying to fix the computer. It, today was kind of kind of wild. <laughs> Thank you. Nice mic. Okay, okay, so you can hear me. It's nearly midnight. Okay, let me see what you're saying. It's nearly midnight in the UK. I'll cook this recipe for another day. Oh my goodness. Okay. How can you do a great salad? All right, well here, here's what we're gonna do. Are y'all ready to cook? Are y'all ready to cook? It's not clear. What do you mean it's not clear? What's not clear? Are you talking about muffled? Put it on top. Hold on. Okay, yeah, we can hear. There's always one person, right? It sounded better before. Okay, hold on. Not as clear, Gina, but I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. You can hear me. Your voice sounds far away. Okay, so let's take it off of here. Boom, boom. And then we're going to put it on here. All right, and let's see what happens. I didn't want to put it up there. But, so how will that work? Do I need to put it in the inside? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. We can do all things through Christ, can't we? You bet we can. All right. Sounds perfect. I can hear. Boom, 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 boom. All right. It was clear. Okay. But, but we'll see what happens when I get far away now. All right. Let's turn towards the food. Turn my lighting on. I'm coming around. Oh, okay. Somebody says it's better. Okay. Well, we'll see. Sounds great now. Much better. Okay. Let's get it, Gina Nation. Okay, I see you. <laughs> D Brown. Miss Karen and Tammy, perfect. All right, so let me get grab my computer and we're gonna get started. I do need to grab an onion out of the refrigerator. All right, <clears throat> and like I said, I'm not gonna. T I'm just gonna talk in my regular voice. And you guys let me know if you can hear me. Great, much better. You are fine, Miss Gina. Thank you, Ron. You love watching. Thank you, Jay Vonda. You didn't come prepared to make this dish, but I think I have the ingredients. I love chili. Okay, and Kenny is saying it's cool. Okay, so now we got all of the ingredients. Um, you can see what we have here. I will grab out my garlic and I'm also going to grab my onion out and we're going to get started making chili Gina Young style. All right. Just grabbing an onion here. Not too big of an onion, you know. <clears throat> and some garlic garlic oh lord i hate showing y'all in my cabinets i do <laughs> i hate
hate showing y'all the inside of my cabinets. I hate doing that. This is my garlic. I keep it in a Ziploc bag. Last time I made chili, it was too thick. Oh my goodness. So if that ever happens to you again, uh, put some water in it or put some more tomato sauce or some chopped tomatoes. It'll really thin it out. You can always add water because chili has so much seasoning. Um, I don't put celery in mine. Chili has so much seasoning, you can water it down a little bit, you know? All right, if you don't have fresh garlic today, no worries, okay? I'm just using just a little tiny clove of garlic. All right? Can everybody hear me? Is the sound okay? Oh, you made the garlic parmesan wings last week and they were a big hit. Great. Great. I love to hear that. I'm going to wash my hands up and we're going to get started. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. <laughs> there are, believe it or not, there's people that love when I say that. I know, I know, it's kind of crazy, but some people love it. So if they love it, if you love it, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move my stuff out the way. I do have two pounds of ground meat in my pan already. It's just the regular 80-20 ground beef. You can use ground chicken, ground turkey, ground sausage, whatever you want to use for your chili, okay? And, you know, all of those options would be great. Okay. I'm going to look at some messages here in a second. <clears throat> I did purchase some already pre-made cornbread because I'm not making cornbread tonight. To be honest, I love cornbread that's already made. I just have to be honest, you know, and I like to show you guys things that I like to do. Do you like making homemade cornbread? I love making homemade cornbread, but the question is, do I always feel like it? I don't always feel like it. <laughs> so when I purchase it this way, it's always good, you know? <laughs> It's a prayer for me, says Kathina. Thank you. Sweet cornbread or savory? Uh, honestly, I like a sweet cornbread and I like a savory cornbread that has like pieces of corn in it and cheese in it, I, I, you know, jalapenos in the cornbread. I like all kinds of cornbread. But if I had to choose, I'd like to choose the sweet over the savory. <laughs> all right. How are my moderators doing today? And thank you for being here with us. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> sour cream on the top. I got sour cream, and I also have um, green onions that we're going to put on the top just to make it nice and beautiful. First thing we're going to do, let's chop up some bell peppers and some onions, and we're going to get it put right on top of our meat. Okay, we're not sauteing it up before ahead of time or anything. We're just going to chop it however you like it chopped. If you want it sliced, you can slice it. Put it right on top of the raw meat and then we're going to turn that heat up on like a medium, medium high heat. I would do midi medium high and you can just stand right there and watch it. Okay, is everybody ready? If you're ready, let's go. Drew says, I love the Baltimore Ravens. Hello, Gina. Is this a new live? This is a new live. Absolutely. You're, you're here live with me right now. Sharp cheddar cheese, too. Yes, I got the sharp cheddar cheese. Okay, uh, Sonia says, hello. I lost connection. Oh, no, it's fine. No problem. Yes, Miss D with the sour cream. Absolutely. Impeccably clean. I love it. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, let's get started. Somebody tell me we're ready to get started. 
because I'm ready to make up some chili, Jeannie Young style. I'm feeling okay, my holy king. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I'm so far. I'd like to say I'm feeling okay. I have a whole lot of energy because I just had a big bag of iron pumped in me. So yesterday I was walking around here like this, like doing everything, right? Went outside and I did head the, the flowers and I watered all the flowers in the yard. I got so much energy right now. So I feel great right now, as of right now. Thank you for asking. Let's get started. All right, let's chop up some bell peppers and onions. All right. I, uh, I, you, if you guys don't already know right now, if you don't already know right now, see, I got, here's what I got to get used to. I'm used to screaming because I was always so far away. Tell me if I use this regular inside voice like I'm using right now, if you guys can hear me just perfectly. I was just screaming a second ago because I'm used to screaming to protrude my voice, you know? It's perfect. Thank you. I'm excited to learn to get my son's opinion. Let's see. Let's go. I'm excited to learn and get my son's opinion. Okay. Yes, the inside voice is perfect. Yes. All right, let's do this. Bell peppers and onions. Let's chop them up. <laughs> Happy Thursday to all of y'all. I love you guys. I did answer some of your questions in the Q&A, but I didn't answer them all. Uh, typically, you may notice that when I do a video, I like for my video to be 19 minutes or under. So once my video got to 19 minutes, I kind of cut it off. So what we'll do today, <clears throat> when we start to talk, when I sit down and talk to you guys after we're done with this, I may ask some more, answer some more of your questions, okay? I think that'll be fun because so many of you, uh, so many others of you, had questions that I didn't get to answer. So maybe I'll address some of those questions, okay? If that sounds good to you. I'm a witness of those iron packs, girl. She said, I'm not mad at vampires now. I suffer, but not as bad now with an anemia. Um, and you are M. Florney, Flor, Flor, Flornoy? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh yeah. I tell you what, it's like a miracle. It, it really is that the medical stuff that they can do to help you when you need help. Because honestly, I totally feel like if I didn't have these iron infusions, I would be of none. Like I'm so serious. I don't know if that makes any sense by saying I would be of none without the iron infusions. But I, I basically, I'm just saying I am somebody that just happens to need them. And they said that I probably will need iron infusions forever. You know, but one thing that I do know, it sure the heck helps me. You know, because iron can get severely low. There was one time that my level had got down to two. And they had thought, how the heck are you still here, girl? Right? They gave me a blood transfusion. And my dad and my husband was there. And my dad was so upset. My dad was telling them, he was like, I am the same blood type as her. He was like, I am O positive too. He was like, I can't donate the blood, right? And, and, my, dad was, and my dad was saying that. And they was like, no, sir, you cannot. They said, the reason why is because your blood has not been tested to make sure that it's nice and clean and safe for her. He's like, but I'm her dad. And he was like, I can give it, can I? They was like, no. And then they showed us. They said, when we do um, a blood transfusion, they said, we have dates that this blood has been um, checked. And it had all of these, um, like, what, what, what do I want to say? All of these lines. And on every line, it had a tag from 1998, they checked it. 2001, they checked it. 2004, they checked it. 2008, they checked it. It was like crazy. They said, sir, we, you know, we, we don't have that time to test your blood. And he understood, but he was just so upset. He just wanted me fixed right then and there, you know. I wonder if he even remembers that. 
But that's an interesting story. Thank you, Lydia Gamble. Thank you for the super chat. So now that I have my bell peppers cut up, I'm putting them right in the pan with the um, hamburger, two pounds of hamburger. Yours might be ground turkey or ground chicken or ground sausage. That's absolutely fine. Okay. But yeah, oh, and somebody also asked me, they said, I'm cutting up my onion. Please, Lord, don't let these onions, don't let these onions make me cry right now. Not today. Not today, onion. I just want to cut you. I want to put you in the food. And I don't want any tears, please. Um, somebody had asked me, they said, Gina, would you like to do like a story time with us? And I thought that was really unique. And um, I don't know, maybe, but maybe I'll do a poll and see if you guys think that that would be something interesting that you would like to watch. I don't want to do it if I'm not going to get good views on it, you know what I mean? If you guys are going to watch it, then there's no use in doing story time. But I feel like if, if you guys would be like, yes, do a story time, I would totally do it. I would totally do it because I feel like I have a lot of stories to share that you guys would kind of like. That may be funny, that may be sad, you know, because I, I have a whole lot of stories. All right, I got my bell peppers. Got the onions on, top of the meat. I'm going to turn that meat on to a medium high heat. Okay, is there anybody falling behind? I want to wash my hands real quick. Anybody falling behind? I'll look at the messages real quick. Woo, my eyes are starting to water. Lord, help me. Story time would be really fun. Okay, and I think that's Cat Lover. Okay. All right. You should do it. Okay, I'm seeing some people that saying that would be great. You should do it. Yeah, please, no tears. All right, I'm turning this on medium high, okay? And I'm going to get my little chopper, if I can find it. You all know my meat chopper that I normally use? Okay. Oh, there it is. I got it out already. I'm going to turn around and kind of, I want to push those onions in there so that these onions don't continue to make me cry. So this is my little chopper that I use to break down my meat. If you don't have anything to break down your meat, you can start to break yours down a little bit once it begins to cook a little, you know. If I didn't say happy Thursday to you all, happy Thursday. Tonight is going to be a great evening. I said a good old prayer before I got on the live that everyone is blessed and happy today. All right, so what I want to do... I'm going to move some of our sauces away from the camera or away from the view of the food, you know. And then I'm going to take the time to chop up some garlic. And guess what we're going to do with this garlic? I like to hit the garlic with the side of my knife like that. It really just helps to release the skin off of the garlic. And there we go. We're going to chop it down a little bit. We're going to put that garlic right in, right on top of our meat with our bell peppers and onions, okay? And it'll cook, okay? How simple, right? So this part right here, that part's done and out the way. Okay, if you guys are with me, let me know if you need me to wait on you. I'll definitely wait. But otherwise, if you're ready, we're going to season this meat mixture that we're cooking, okay, with your spices. Not 
the chili packet seasonings, okay? We're going to use these seasonings right now. This goes in kind of at the last minute, all right? How you guys doing? Let's see, Gina, I know the homemade chili going to look delicious. Let's see, let's see. I know the homemade chili looks delicious and good. Enjoying your video. Keep it coming. Okay, Kelvin, thank you. Garlic is a must in mostly every food, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you, Q. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, 30 years ago on Thursday, would be on tonight at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. Hello, Gina. What up? <laughs> How's your day? We're great. Eula, I'm doing great. How are you? Okay, so we got the meat, we got the onions, the garlic, and the bell pepper. Let's go ahead and season with our garlic powder, our black pepper, and our salt. And you know what? Honestly, don't be shy with these seasonings. You can be shy with the salt. Just use as much as you want or as least as you like, you know. This is the salt, and that's what I'm gonna put in just for now, okay? I may go back in a little later and re-season. This is onion powder, all right? I don't know if I mentioned onion powder to you guys, but if I didn't, it's totally okay. And this is the black pepper, okay? So I'm gonna bring this up to the camera so you should, can see what everything's looking like, all right? Turn that heat up. Let's get it nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Medium high. Doing good, let's go. That's Queenie Walker speaking. Okay. I do too, LaToya. She says, I love onion powder. I do too, I really do. So now somebody was asking me about onion powder and, or onion salt and garlic salt. Now, if you were using like a onion salt or garlic salt, that just means that it's like a salt flavored with garlic. So um, if you were gonna cook something using garlic or onion salt, you would use one or the other because it, it, it's salt flavored garlic powder or onion flavor garlic powder. So you wouldn't use regular salt because then you would have too much salt. Okay, so the, I thought that was a great question. <clears throat> Gina, I will make my chili this weekend. You said, I'm too tired tonight to cook, but I am watching. Oh, Angela, that's just fine, no problem. I'm just happy to have you here, you know? I really am. And Gina, you sound professional. The new mic makes such a difference. Yes, I'm so happy. And you know what? I really feel great right now, like not having to scream. I really do. And then at some point today, I'm going to turn my fan on. Do you guys normally know when I turn the fan on, I, I always say, please forgive me. I got the fan on and it's hot in here. Um, I have like, um, it's like a duster. I don't know if that's what you call it. It's on top of the microphone, and it's supposed to keep background noises out of the sound. So like if I was going outside and it was really windy out, um, it should keep the wind out, and you guys can just hear a clear voice. So when I turn that fan on sometime during this um, live, let me know if it's drowning out the sound and you guys can hear me clear, okay? Thumbs up from Las Vegas. Ann, how are you? Tracy says, thank you so much for cooking chili tonight and having a live session for this meal. I don't know how to make homemade chili, and tonight I'm learning how to make it again. Thank you so much, Gina. You're very welcome, Tracy. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in and, and joining us. Uh, you are more than welcome to come in and learn how to cook anything with us, to cook with us, you know. I'm glad to have you. I struggle with my homemade chili. Now I won't. No, you won't, D-Dub, because Gina Young has got you. I, listen, 
we're here. I got you. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. Like this is so stinking easy. Okay. So now I have, um, some people don't like beans in their chili. There's some people that like black beans. Um, some people that like ca um, cannelli beans, all kinds of beans in their chili. And that's totally okay. The type of bean that I like to use is a kidney bean. And so the kidney bean has like a liquid in it. I like to keep the liquid in one of my cans. If you're using one can, just keep that liquid. If you're using two cans, I want you to pour the liquid off of the second can, okay? All right? Amanda says, I love some kidney beans in my chili. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna take this liquid out of this one, keep the liquid in that one. If you're using one can, just keep all the liquid, okay? I just pour it in my sink, you know. It, I'm calling it a liquid, but really it's a brine. It's just a brine, and I like the flavor of the brine, honestly. And I also like how the brine gets the, um, the chili nice and thick like we want, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I want to turn my meat around a little bit. See if I'm getting some color, and I am getting some good color here. And everything's smelling pretty good right about now. Okay, he said, Ron Wilson says, kidney beans are the best in my option, or my opinion. I use chili beans. Yes, Saj. Um, in the past, I have used chili beans as well. And I really like that addition also. But... If you would ask me, like, what do I normally use? I always use kidney beans. I don't know why. But chili beans are a great addition. Black beans are a great addition also. Okay, so Lint, Law, what's your name? Laws in Proto, please. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. But they say, I don't cook often, just the basics. I've learned how to cook many things from watching you. Thank you for that, Gina. You're very welcome. Tell me how I can pronounce your name. And welcome to the channel. Everybody welcome Lons in Proto. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Can you use pinto beans? Absolutely you can. I love you. You're the best. Thank you, Eula. I love you too. I love each and every one of you guys. Hello from Yuma, Arizona. Eunice Russell says, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are seriously having a great day today. I really do. The weekend is almost here. Does anybody have anything special that they, you know, that they're planning? That burger is finally starting to get some color onto it. So I'm happy with that. You should really start to smell the green peppers, the onions, and the garlic right about now, right? Gina, I've been meaning to ask you. I need to learn how you cut up your onion the way you do it, says Derek Eads. Okay, Derek, I tell you what, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to cut up another onion because I have to cut another onion because my family likes fresh onion on top of their chili. So when I cut up that onion, I'm going to bring the camera really close and show you exactly what I do so we can cut it quickly and sufficiently. And to do, but I'm going to show you, okay? So try to uh, try to remind me. I love you too, Joseph. Thank you. I love your show. You are a blessing to me in the kitchen. Eugene, thank you. Christopher, how are you? Do you remember Medea's family reunion and when Medea whooped that bad girl in the car? She put her seatbelt on so fast. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> Loving the outfit tonight. It's very Versace. <laughs> thank you. Yes, onion and cheese on the top, a little bit of sour cream. Temperature there. 
Okay, the temperature, it, I don't know. I haven't even been outside, so I don't really know the temperature. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. You may need to back out real quick to give a thumbs up and then come back in, okay? You got to make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. I know who's all in here. So that means you guys haven't given a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Gina, I cooked a five bean chili. That really sounds good. Now, like I said, there are some people that just don't like beans in their chili. And that's totally okay. Um, now, some chilies that I buy in the can, I don't like Hormel chili. I don't know why. I know some of you are going to say, Gina, you're nuts. I don't like chili in, I don't like um, Hormel chili. I don't like Hormel chili. I, I'll show you guys what kind of chili I like because I have a bunch of it in my pantry. I don't like Hormel. My husband likes Hormel. <laughs> what, what's your favorite fall meal to cook? Uh, we are almost there. My favorite fall meal to cook. Um, okay, I like to make spaghetti for the fall time. I like to make chili. I also like to make like baked chicken. You know, baked chicken over top of dressing or stuffing. You know, just put the stuffing at the bottom, bake some chicken on top of it, and listen, that's a meal. Like, I like to do stuff like that. I also like to make chicken and dumplings. So that's a great fall meal. Okay, so uh, Derek says, I love homemade chili the best. No canned chili for me anymore. <laughs> pumpkin pie, yes, my holy king. I'll be showing you guys how to make pumpkin pie. If not homemade, we like armor. Oh, yeah. I don't remember what armor tastes like. I made your baked chicken. I have photos. It was a hit. <laughs> okay, that's great. Gina, I'm watching from my television and have the chat open on my iPad. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Hormel chili can be versatile. Okay, yeah. Um, you have to push the like button, guys, for the thumbs up, says V. Sanford. Thank you, V. Sanford. Um, I don't like canned chili at all. Now, when I have my pantry stocked with different things, I feel like your pantry should definitely be stocked with soups and stews, you know, um, veggies and things like chili and, you know, like canned ham and uh, Vienna sausages and stuff, but I do feel like canned chili is one of those things that you must have in your pantry. So I have some. Hey, do you guys want me to show you the kind that I have? If you guys want me to show you, I'll show you. You never had turkey chili. Oh, turkey chili is good. Um, turkey chi chili is good. Ground turkey meat is good in itself. So if you've ever had like a turkey burger, um, it's great. I just feel like turkey meat is much softer than ground beef and it tastes just like chili. What's in the skillet so far? I'm late. Okay, so so far we got the hamburger, we got onions, garlic, green bell peppers, and seasoning. Onions, garlics, green bell pepper, seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, Okay, we're cooking everything down. We're cooking that garlic, those onions and bell peppers. Now, when your meat gets all the way done, we're going to have a strainer. If you don't have a strainer, it's okay. I totally understand. You're going to take a lid and put it halfway on there and then pour that unwanted oil off of your meat because we don't want any extra oil in our meat, okay? Hey, Elaine, how are you? Whitney J says, white chicken chili is wonderful too. Yes, it is, and I actually have a video for it if you'd like to check that out. Are you putting this over rice? I have done that before, but today I'm not doing that. I have crackers today, and I'm going to show you guys a trick that I like to do with my crackers that my grandmom used to do. She, okay, so let me show you. My grandmom was the best grandmom ever in lifetime. <laughs> she just was. 
And I'm pretty sure you guys have a grandmom or had a grandmom the same way. Let me tell you what grandmom used to do. She had oyster crackers. What are oyster crackers? Well, um, they're little teeny tiny crackers, right? And they're, they're shaped like that. I'm going to show you what, how I like to prepare them, what I like to do. But I'll, I'll wait a minute before I show you, you know, before I actually show you. It's really interesting, really, really interesting. All right, I'm getting some nice color onto my meat. Very soon, I'm going to grab my colander out of the cupboard, and I'm going to drain this meat. How's everybody doing? Can somebody tell me if you're cooking with me that you're doing okay? Or, you know, do I need to slow down? Okay, Derek says, I always use oyster crackers in my chili. <laughs> Elbow noodles, I have heard of that in chili. Can you do an Instapot chili? Um, I could, but I don't. <laughs> I could, but I don't because my chili, it would be quicker, it would be much quicker this way than in an Instapot. It might not make any sense, but I'm going to show you. Um, I love rice and buttermilk cornbread with my chili. Oh, yeah, Jacqueline. Now we're talking. Okay, so I love oyster crackers. Prophet, Prophet Steve, Teresa. Is everyone on track, says Sonia? Thank you. Not me. Grandmother didn't like it. Uh, let's see. I didn't get to read her message. You're doing great. Okay. Okay. What do oyster crackers? No, they don't taste like oysters. They just call them oyster crackers because they're shaped like an oyster. You know, it's just, it tastes like a saltine cracker. It just tastes like a saltine cracker. But I'm going to put some flavor into the cracker and show you guys something really, really exciting. Let me see. I want to find, thank you, Brenda Willis. Thank you so much. She says, Gina, I'm having my kitchen remodeled, so I am just watching today. I wish I had some chili now. Well, I tell you what, since you're watching, I'm going to make sure you get that first bite. You know, when I come around and talk to you guys, I'm going to give you that first bite, okay? So hopefully you'll be able to kind of taste it through the screen, you know. Sometimes when somebody's cooking something good, you can smell it and almost taste it through the screen, you know. That's gonna, that first bite is going to be for you. Butter and ranch, let's get it. <laughs> Ritz crackers for me. Oh, yes, D-Dub. I love watching you, says Tina. Thank you. Angela Cooper says, Brenda Willis, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Uh, Ritz crackers are, but my favorite cracker is the club cracker. I don't know why. Hold on, guys. My puppy has to use the restroom. <laughs> He's sitting by the door so patiently. I'm going to let him out, and I'll come right back, okay? You good boy. Come on, let's go pee-pee. You good boy? You good, good baby. Come on, let's go pee pee. Mommy's gonna watch you. Don't go far. <laughs> guys, they are such good babies. Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear me? Yes, Sonia says club crackers are so delicious. I love the cr club cracker. So I would say that's my favorite by far. And then my husband introduced me to um, the chicken in a biscuit cracker, where it's a regular cracker, right? And it has like chicken flavor. I love those too. So if you guys never tried that, give it a try. Now, here's the situation where I'm at. My hamburger is nice and cooked. If you got a little bit of pink, don't stress out about it. Well, how come, Gina? Well, because we're going to cook this so long, the meat will get fully cooked. As long as your meat is 90, 95% cooked, we're good. Let's go ahead and drain it. Okay, so here's what my meat's looking like. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to let the babies back in. I'm sure they're done using the restroom. And I'll be right back, okay? Right back. Oh, look at them. They still going. <laughs> Looking at the neighbor's house. Come on, boys. <laughs> they so nosy. <laughs> Come on, guys. You ready? 
Come on, Tutu. Come on. Come on. I'm leaving. Come on. One's in the house. The other one is just staring at me. Hold on, guys. I'm going to go out and grab him. I think you can still hear me. Come on. All right, I got him, guys. <laughs> Get in there. All right, go sit down. You'll be a good boy. Sorry about that. I'm going to wash my hands. Always got to wash your hands, you know? Making sure that you don't pass bacteria. You know, like I touched the back door. I don't want to bring bacteria from my back door to anything that I'm touching. So our burger is ready. Let's go ahead and drain the burger. And then we're going to put all of our sauces in. We're going to put our beans in, but the first thing that's going to go in after we drain it and put it back in the pan is going to be our small can of uh, tomato paste, okay? So let me get a strainer. I never know where my stuff is because if my husband or Dakota does the dishes, they don't tell me where they put things at, you know? So when I go to look for something, <laughs> I have to hunt for it, you know? All right, I'm straining this right now. After you drain it free from the oil, then you pour it back into your pan. We're gonna put this whole small can of tomato paste we're gonna kinda of smush it into the burger meat, if that makes any sense, okay? Your first live, this is amazing, says Michael. Welcome, Michael. Everybody, welcome, Michael, to Gina Young's live. Thank you for coming in. Hi, LaTanya, how are you? Oh, I love Cheese Whiz with my crackers, yes. Okay, so now my meat has drained. I'm pouring the meat back into the pan. Okay, so now we have no oil in our meat. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to take this beautiful tomato paste. If you bought a can that's bigger than this little one, just use half of it, okay? So, tomato paste is going to give you a really vibrant taste. It's, real, it's so concentrated. This right here, every time I open it, I always take like a finger, <laughs> put my finger in there and taste it because I love the taste of this concentrated tomato. It's just really beautiful. Okay, so now that I have the contents out of the can, watch what I do. I'm just going to kind of smash it in there, kind of stir the meat around on it. If you can't coat all of the meat with your tomato paste, don't worry about it because eventually, as the cooking process goes on, it'll continue to melt, melt, you know. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Is everybody with me? Are you guys doing okay? Somebody let me know if you're falling behind. I'll definitely wait on you. I will wait on one person, you hear me? I love you guys so much and I appreciate you all being here. Welcome to all the new subscribers and also welcome my returning subscribers. Okay. So now what we have now is we have drained meat that we have seasoned with our spices. We cook the garlic, the onions, the bell peppers, and the burger, and we drained it. And now we just put in tomato paste. We're going to let that cook for about two minutes while you guys open up your cans of tomato sauce and also your chopped up tomatoes because that's what's going to go in next. Okay, I've already opened up mines ahead of time. So what I'll do is I'll wait on you guys. I don't, you know, I'll wait on you guys to open yours up, okay? Is everybody doing okay? Thank you, Sonia. Oh, my can is not opening, my goodness. 
I might need the, okay, there it is. <laughs> Your two little doggies are adorable and full of love. <laughs> Thank you. Two little boogers. Yes, they are. I'll, I'll try to show you the dogs a little later. Absolutely, I will. If you didn't drain it, you get that leftover grease in it. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't, have, you don't want to digest that oil. You know, you want to drain that oil. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Maureen. I love chili in the winter. I do, too. Yeah, careful with the can. Well, I knew that I had opened it. I just didn't know why it was open. It wasn't opening for me. Valencia says, doing great. Okay. And Michael says, thank you, Maureen. Tori Carter, how are you doing? Hello, amazing Gina. Lynn from Atlanta, hello. Let's see. Um, I do be full. I can't walk or be, I'm not sure. Let's see, please drain your meat. Gina, Denise has a question for you. Okay. Okay, Denise, can you repeat your question for me? That would be great. Oh, when you eat chili too spicy, you get the hiccups. Yeah, a lot of people will get um, heartburn. And what I like to do is um, I like to put a pinch or two of sugar in my chili. This is something that you don't have to do. In today's recipe, I'm going to put a pinch or two of sugar in it to kind of cut the acid a little bit to prevent heartburn. Because sometimes when you have, you know, something spicy like that um, tomato sauce, it can give you like the hiccups or heartburn. Um, my dad always used to tell me to cut the acid a little bit, put a little bit of sugar in there, and it works. All right, so now what we're going to do now, you haven't made uh, chili in a long time, says Wendy. Yeah, it takes the acid away, Manda. All right, so now I got my big um, tomato sauce. I like to use Hunt's. We're putting that whole can in, okay? Get it all out. And then I have a chopped tomato, all right? I like to use two cans. If you want to use one, that's fine, okay? So now let's get a spoon, and we're going to stir that baby up, okay? All right. Just like so in this manner. Okay, oh, yeah, I love these chopped up tomatoes in it. I love cooked tomatoes. I just have to be honest. Chopped up tomatoes that come in the can are like the best. They're so fresh tasting to me. So look what we have. We have like an amazing, look at this. Beautiful, right? Let's keep on stirring it for a little bit so we can get everything well incorporated or well mixed together, so to speak. And then guess what I want to do? I want to put my chili beans in or my kidney beans. I like to use maybe a can and a half. If you want a lot of beans, use two. If you want just a little bit, you can back up and just use one. Okay, so I'm going to use half of this one, and I'm going to use the whole can of this one. All right? And I'll put that in some ramen noodles or something, you know. All right, so right now I want you to turn your heat on to medium, okay? Your heat should be on medium. Don't have it up too high because you'll burn it, all right? And now that we have that part done, I'm going to look and see if there's anybody behind, and I'll ask my wonderful moderators, which is Ron Wilson and Sonia, um, how everybody is doing, and they can let me know. Is everybody doing okay? I have heard of two alarm chili mix. And you said it's foolproof and you add chili beans. I've heard of that. Um, I've just never tried it. Turn your heat to, me to, to medium. Thank you. Next time use the Taco Bell fajita seasoning mix. Oh, wow. I've tried fajita seasoning mix, but I feel like that's for fajitas. <laughs> So I like to use the chili seasoning packet, you know. So what I like to do is these packets here, 
they tell you if you have two pounds of meat, then you use two packets. So you got three pounds of meat, use three packets, okay? I'm gonna use two because I got two pounds of meat. Go ahead and put that in there, okay? Two packs. I bought an extra pack just so I can have it in my pantry, you know, for a later day. Sometimes I like to mix these packets into macaroni and cheese and voila. Okay, so Crystal says, I put a little baking soda in it. How come? How come you put baking soda in it? I've never heard of that. All right, so it's going to smell very strong in the beginning. You go ahead and mix it in. And guess what? We got some chili. We got some chili, buddy. Oh, we're going to let this simmer down for just a little bit. We're going to put a pinch or two of sugar in here. And then we're going to taste it in about five minutes, right? And what I want you all to, to see if you need, I want you to taste it to see if you need any more garlic, if you want any more onion powder, if you need any more salt. I want you to taste it and kind of think about what do I need? Or you might be happy with the flavor, okay? So how's everybody doing? Oh, Ron, is that right? He said bacon soda kills the gas. Oh my goodness, is that right? Makes the beans soft. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> I see everybody saying it. Okay, how interesting. Okay, Gina, what if you got one pack? If you got one pack, you'll still be okay. Okay, but just remember next time, and it'll taste delicious, you know, it will. You won't mess up. Um, if you got one pack, it's totally okay. Um, but if next time, just remember, if you got one pack of meat, you use one of these packs. If you got two packs of meat, you use two, okay? But if, you, if you're that person that got one pack of seasoning, you're just fine, okay? Or I can totally really help you out and tell you, you could put some chili powder if you have some in your cupboard, some cumin if you have some in your cupboard, and some paprika. Those three things will make up chili seasoning. So let me tell you what that is again. Chili powder, cumin, and paprika. Those three makes this here. <laughs> yeah, yeah it does. How about it? <laughs> I, I was so happy to answer that. I meet for some reason. So I know right now you guys are going to say it. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. Gina, so why don't you make yours that way? Well, because I like these. <laughs> I just do. So I hope Gina answered everyone's question. Thank you. Paprika. That's spot on. You just said that. All right. Thank you, Kenny. How much? Well, I'd like to say a tablespoon and a half of each would be like perfect. Tablespoon and a half of paprika, tablespoon and a half of cumin, tablespoon and a half of chili powder. Boom. Okay. So now what I want to do, get you all a tasting spoon because we're going to taste this baby. All right. But um, I'm not going to taste mine until I put my sugar in. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in. I'm clearing my throat. I know that probably sounds kind of funny on the uh, microphone. <laughs> I know it did. <laughs> guys, I tell you what, I have the time of my life in here with you guys. I really do. All right, I'm going in with that pinch or two of sugar. And is this going to make it sweet? No, I have to tell you all no. We have so much flavor in here, so many seasonings, so many savory things in here. That little bit of sugar is not going to make this sweet. So I don't want you to freak out and say, oh, no, Gina, please don't do it. No, that's not the case, okay? Now, if I was to put a half a, you know, a half a cup in there, then you'll have to worry about me, right? You have to say, wait, does she need her temperature taken? You know, I'm not trying to sweeten it. I'm just trying to cut the acid a little bit, but I can say I do like that little bit of flavor that it gives because it gives a little bit of flavor. All right, so now here's what I want to do. Here's what I want you to do. If you're cooking along with me, if you're cooking along with me, 
go ahead, give this a taste. Give it a taste. I have tried coconut sugar. Gina, have you tried organic sugar? I haven't, but I tried coconut sugar and it is beautiful, right? I'm thinking about buying some. Come on, if you're cooking with me. If you're cooking with me, let's taste this, okay? I'm not trying to taste the meat right now. I want to taste the sauce because the sauce is what I need to season, okay? So do like this. This is how you taste it, just the sauce, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Mm. That's chili. And I tell you what, it's so succulent and so good. But as I taste it, I do feel like I need some more of my seasoning, which is garlic and onion powder. All right. Man, that's a lot of garlic powder, Gina. Well, because I want a nice amount. And I want a nice amount of onion powder. I'm not going to put black pepper because it's spicy enough, but I am going to put a little bit of salt. I feel like that right there. Oh, that's going to do the trick. So what do we want to do right now? The chili is basically done, okay? So what we're going to do, we need to bring the beans up, get those beans nice and warm and soft. You know, we may cook them for about seven to 10 minutes, and then guess what? Your chili, done. How simple, how simple. All right, I am gonna grab my sour cream out. I'm gonna grab my shredded cheese. I'm gonna grab my green onions out and chop a few up, get a beautiful bowl out. And guess what? Dinner is just about served. Listen here, somebody tell me, Gina, this was so stinking easy. You bet it was, you bet it was. Somebody says, hell yes, Gina, plenty of garlic and onion powder <laughs> enhances the flavor. That's Kenny J talking. <laughs> okay. Let me see. <laughs> ah. All right, add a little salt, pepper, and, and cumin, says Mildred. Uh-huh. Looking good, Gina. Okay, well, thank you. Everything's looking good. Everything's smelling good. I think it's about time for me to show you all what um, Grandma would do. I'm going to show you. 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 Relax. I think I'm just going to use one bag. This is something that my Grandma Lucille would do. So she would take... She, this is not something that she would do for chili. I, know, I don't remember my grandma ever making a chili. I, I just don't. She may have, but I don't. Okay? But she would take oyster crackers. Check me out. Oyster crackers. They're just little tiny cute crackers. They taste like a saltine cracker, right? I'm going to crack a, a little bit of vegetable oil. Watch this. Watch this closely because this is really interesting. I know, I know, I know I have a huge thing of oil. I'll put it in the cup so it doesn't look so huge. <laughs> I'm going to drizzle. You got to look at this because you want to make this for your grandkids. You want to make this for your kids. You want to make it for your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle Bobo. Make it for your grandma, okay? Make it for yourself just because you want a snack and there's no chips in the house. Well, we're going to put a little bit of oil. How much oil is that, Gina? Well, I, I have to tell you, I have no clue. <laughs> but you just seen, I just put a little bit of oil, guys. Don't get nuts with it, okay? Just enough to coat it, okay? Ranch powder packet. If you were to go inside of grandmom's house, she had a bowl of this with a big Tupperware lid on it. You were going all in on these crackers and you will not be able to stop eating these. All right, how much you putting on there, Gina? The whole packet, <laughs> the whole packet. Now, the powder, believe it or not, it soaks up that oil. Because right away, I know you guys were thinking, are the crackers going to be oily? Heck no. They ain't going to be oily. 
because the powder soaks it up and you can see it. I'm going to put it close to the camera and show you. The powder soaked up the oil. We have some amazing flavor crackers here. You're not going to be able to stop eating. I got to taste this right now so I can get a memory of my grandma, even though I think about her every day. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing like it. Oh, girl, you something else. You hear me? Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you guys, mm. there's something about food that just gets me so excited. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I talked to my surgeon today. And they wanted to reschedule me for five weeks because in five weeks my doctor told me that he'll retake the, um, the blood work and my iron levels will be up and 100% I should be ready for my surgery. So my surgeon said he'll just wait until the results come back. When the results come back, then he'll schedule me for both of my surgeries. So I'm excited about that. I'm grabbing sour cream, green onions, sharp cheddar. <laughs> sharp cheddar. Boom, the crackers are amazing. Oh my goodness. Mm. Where is Polo? Let me check on Polo. Polo, where are you at, honey? Okay, he's sitting down. He's being such a good boy. Sour cream. I'm going to get a nice bowl, and I want you guys one more time to go in, taste your chili, and see how it's tasted. Okay? I'm going to taste mine again since I added the sugar and the extra seasoning. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Chow, listen here. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's good. You bet it is. I'm going to wash off some of, oh, I told Derek Eads, that's okay, Derek, I'm going to show you how to cut the onion here in just a second. I'm going to wash these off, chop them down a little bit, and then I want to show Derek how to cut the onion, because you got to have fresh onions on the top of your, you know, your chili. I'm just chopping these up for a garnish. Sometimes my family likes to put it on top, you know, if we have company or something. Are y'all sitting down being good boys? Sit down. Dakota is at... Um, personal training, there's that, all right, so somebody let me know, Gina, I'm praying for you, thank you, Eula, uh, Tyrese203, that's wonderful, okay, listen, um, Gina wants to show you how to cut the onion, okay, thank you, Sonia, you just reminded me again, <laughs> I, I literally forgot as soon as I said it, Okay, Derek, I'm going to show you. Yes, I will. Okay. You got a big old onion, too. Okay, here's how it's done. Okay, our chili is done and out the way. We're going to cut an onion, so I hope Derek is available. Derek, are you available? <laughs> This is going to be my bowl that I'm using for my chili today. And I got a nice spoon there. Is he ready? Derek, yes, I'm here. Okay, so I peeled off, try to peel off some of the, you know, the big parts. But there's still going to be some, you know, some skin left on there. So don't freak out. Don't, okay, just leave it on there. Okay, so here's what I like to do. So, I'm going to slice this part off first, the part that has the long part, okay? 
I'm gonna slice that off, okay? And then I'm gonna cut right here, okay? Well, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Let's see, if I wanna teach you how to do, slow down, Gina. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off, all right? So now I have a surface that you can work with where it's not gonna roll away. Now you can peel off the edges, you know, the paper. I like to call it paper, right? What do you guys call it, skin? <laughs> Onion skin. All right, so now both ends are cut and it's not gonna move on us. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna slice down, but I'm not going all the way to the bottom, okay? Slice down. Don't go all the way to the bottom or it'll tear apart, okay? We have that done. Turn it. Cut it down again. Don't cut all the way to the bottom. Okay, are you with me? Then we turn it on its side where, not the two sides that we cut, and then here's what's going to happen. Look at this. All of the onion pieces are turning out the same size because we did a cross cut. We cut it this way, we turned it, we cut it that way, we turn it on its side, and then we cut it and we have chopped up onions that are all the same size. Hey, pretty simple. You can do your cucumbers that way, do your tomatoes that way, all right? I was so glad that you asked me that question, even though it's an onion, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you know how me and onions are. But I tell you what, because I was helping somebody, God said, I am not going to let her eyes water over this onion. She's trying to teach somebody something, right? <laughs> so thank you, Lord. And thank you, Derek. <laughs> yes, the good Lord said, I'm not going to let her eyes water. And she's trying to teach him. But look at this beautiful onions. And you know what? Um, I'll do it again. The next time I cut onions, because that may have been too fast, um, I'll definitely do it again. Maybe when I cut onions again, okay? So now I gotta wash the onion smell off of my hands and we're gonna get ready to eat. Can somebody tell me how you guys are doing? Did anybody taste their chili? Uh, Sonia says I learned something new today. I see, that's cool. I just wondered about the fancy way of cutting it, and I wanted to know. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, I chopped the bottom off, down the middle, peeled the skin, and you said, then you slice one way and the other way, no tears. <laughs> okay. You don't like the white part of the green onions. Yeah, I, I tossed that part. Thank goodness your eyes didn't water. Yes, Brenda. I was like, oh man. But the good Lord, well, you know, when you do a good deed for somebody, the good Lord's going to always have your back. You hear me? The good Lord is going to always watch out for you. Polo, get over here. Come here. What are y'all doing? Back there by that fish tank. What are you doing? <laughs> They're back there watching the fish. All right. I'm ready to eat. That glorious chili, okay, says Corey. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look how thick. It's thick. We didn't make it too thick. It's not too watery. And adding that brine that comes in the can of the beans, whatever kind of beans you decide to use, really gives you a great consistency. It's like a silky consistency, you know? Who's ready for a prayer? Is anybody ready for a prayer? Because I am. Polo wants a fish dinner. I know he does. Little stinker. This chili was super quick. Yes, it was. Chili looking good. You bet it is. All right. I happen to love sharp cheddar. Some of you may love a different type of cheddar, but this is the kind that I, I have to. This is what I would do if I wasn't on camera. I love sharp cheddar. Yeah, John makes a good point. He says you can use the white part 
of the onion to cook. Absolutely you can. I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer, and guess what we're going to do? Is everybody done cooking? Or are there people still behind a little bit? Somebody let me know while I look at the messages. I tell you what, that cheese was so stinking good. I do too. I love the smell of the, the, smell of the homemade chili. And it just really makes you think fall time, you know? I meant to have one of them turn the um, fireplace on for me before they left, but I might have them turn it on for me. It just really makes me feel fall time, as you know. So when I come back around, I'm going to take the microphone off. That way I can plug the camera back in, okay? Ready for the prayer? All right. Hey, stop that. Chili was quick and it looks delicious. What about your cornbread? Did we forget? No, we didn't forget because I have cornbread. And my cornbread is pre-made, and um, in, the, uh, in my message to you all, I said I'm going to be getting pre-made cornbread, okay? So that's what I have here, and we'll go ahead and cut it, say a prayer, and make up a, a nice plate. How about it? Look at the, this cornbread is beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, girl. You something else in here. Woo, I know you didn't make the chili, Gina, but. I mean, I know you didn't make the cornbread, but, ooh, look at that. Yes, like, I'm ready for this. Can we say a prayer? Can you ship me a bowl, please? Absolutely, I can. Kan Kanish? Kanisha? Let's pray. Okay. All right, we're going to pray right now. I want to bring the onions, the green onions, sour cream, cheese, crackers. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we like to thank you for everyone that came into this chat today. We thank you for everyone that's going to come into the chat. And I like to pray over their lives. I pray over them and their loved ones and their family and friends. I pray that you bless over them and keep them safe. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you take care of them and help them with their worries. We thank you, Lord, for them. I thank you for all of my subscribers. I pray that you just bless over their finances and just help them, help them with everything that they're going through in their lives, Heavenly Father. And I also want to thank you ahead of time because I know that you hear my prayers and you answer my prayers. So I thank you ahead of time. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us on a daily basis. Let that devil know he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Who's ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. How about we do this? Let's do it. And you know what? We, we didn't hardly even make a mess in the kitchen. Like, really? Dinner served. Let's make up a plate. And here's the thing. I, I really can't wait until I come a little closer to the camera so you all can, like, really seriously see. Because you, see, you can't see what I'm looking at right now. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Get you some cornbread. The person that likes rice under theirs or noodles with yours. Now, I can't actually say. I do like chili that has spaghetti noodles underneath it. It's kind of like a five chili or um, I have made in the past, what kind of chili is that called? I think it's called like a Cincinnati chili or something, a Skyline chili. I have made that in the past and it is beautiful. You serve it over top of noodles and you put onions, 
um, on top and cheese on top and it has cinnamon in it. I know, I know right now you guys are saying, what? It has cinnamon in it, but it's really unique. And it also has chocolate in it. Like that, you gotta really have a nice palate to, in order to understand those flavors there, you know. I'm just covering this. Okay, put my foil up. We're gonna dress. You don't like runny chili at all? Yeah, me neither. All right, let's go ahead and dress this beautiful, beautifulness here. Okay, so who wants sour cream? Do you guys want sour cream on top? All right, we're gonna put sour cream right on top. Oh my goodness. I, I gotta lick it. Mm. I wouldn't be Gina Young if I didn't lick that sour cream. I gotta be myself. <laughs> A little bit of green onion for garnish. A little bit of fresh onion because we can. Okay. I know my husband is going to definitely put those fresh onions on his. All right. And then you got to have, bring that creamy goodness. <laughs> I think that's Melinda or, or Amanda. And then we're going to put some cheese just right around the edges. Mm-mm. Ooh. -wee. I wish you guys were here. I really do. I would feed you all. Somebody had asked me in the QA. They said, Gina, if you could cook for a big crowd or if you could cook for a small crowd, which one would you cook for? I think it would be a big crowd. I do. I think it would be a big crowd. Um, because I like to cook for people. I like to see people excited about what I just cooked, you know. I like to see people happy and humming and tapping, tapping their foot on the floor because it tastes so good. Look at this, is this chili? Is that the chili bowl you would love to eat? Yes, it is, and you have to make the recipe. You gotta make the recipe because it's delicious. Hold on guys, I'm coming around. Coming around. And I'm going to put some of those crackers on my chili. All right. How about it? I do want to cover up my, my stuff here because, you know, some of those little tiny gnats, I don't want them to get in my food if there's a gnat in here, you know. And we're going to sit and talk. We're going to have a good old time. Here's all the fixings for my husband and Dakota. And that way they can make a nice plate when they come in. And I'm going to grab a nice drink. I think I'm going to grab a root beer. I'm coming around. And you get to taste it. I know you want to taste it. Oh, Lord, I got a puppy still standing at the door again. Everybody jumping out their socks. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I'm gonna fix the light. I know I look kind of crazy. Is that okay? Good lighting? Look at this, guys. Hold on, I can't tilt it, but only so much. I got the crackers. We got the chili, the cheese, the onions, the sour cream. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Hold on, and then we got cornbread. I'm going to really be able to show it to you here in a second. Let me let my puppy out because I feel like he didn't really go when I told him to go. He's standing at the back door again. Hold on. Come on. You got to go again, boo-boo. Come on, poo-poo. You want to go? You got to go? Go pee-pee. Go. Little stinker. <laughs> He's looking at me. All right. Great work, Dina. Listen, thank you. I love root beer. Thank you. Gina, I'm waiting for my first bite. Okay, that's Brenda. Here's a root beer, guys. I, you probably would like to see it in a cup, right? 
Hold on, I'm still here. Let me get a cup. And then, um, and then, what am I trying to say? I'm going to let that stinking puppy back in. Uh, yeah, I don't think he went to the restroom like he really wanted to. Because so when I was cooking, he was still waiting by the door after that. So I took him back outside just in case. Let me check on him. And you know what? They just standing by the tree. <laughs> they just standing by the tree. Ain't doing nothing. This is for the people that like to see that and like to hear it. All right, got a lot of fizz today. Let me tell them boys to get in here, and you guys get to taste this. Okay, for the person that said, Gina, I want my first bite, you make sure you come close to this camera so you can taste it. All right? Come on, guys. Everybody's waiting on you. <laughs> All right, now you're happy. Get up there. <laughs> I said, everybody's waiting on you. Come on. They was waiting right at the door, little stinkers. All right. Okay. No, y'all get up there. Get up there, little stinkers. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to plug the camera in, and we're going to take the uh, microphone off, okay? Because I don't want to lose you guys. All right. Take the little microphone off. All right, you did a good job, microphone. I can hear that my husband's here because they are barking. All right, can you guys hear me? All right, amen to that. Gina, stop it. You know, let me see, you said, Gina, stop it. Sometimes I can't wait to eat after watching you. <laughs> All right, well, listen. Okay, you can hear me. Thank you, Catherine. I didn't speak to you, but uh, welcome back. All right, let me turn these microphones off. All right. Now, let's see. How can... Oh, here's what I'll have to do. I got to point the camera down at the food because this is something that can spill, right? So if it's something that can spill, I have to do this. Let's see. All right, come on with me, camera. Yes, you can hear that, okay. All right, oh my goodness. Come on, camera, don't get dizzy on me, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness, listen. You did it, I did it, we did it. Look at that. Ooh, don't cover the sour cream up. We want that, right? Mm. Come on, take a look at this. Mm, mm, mm. That right there, oh, that's chili. That's chili all the way. Look at this. Remember, uh-oh, remember I told you I was gonna let you taste it? Here we go, come on in on it. <laughs> oh yeah, in the cornbread. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. We did it. Amen once again. Let's eat. Dinner served. Mmm. Wait. Let's talk about the flavor here. Right now, this is piping hot. Really, wait. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, in this bite, I have the little crackers. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, wait. <laughs> Nicola, they just got in. Can you feed? How did um, training go? Mm, good. 
Mm-hmm. Everyone good? You tired? <laughs> I got a headache. You got a headache. Take some headache medicine. Oh. Listen. Take some headache medicine. Wash your hands. Mm-hmm. And uh, get the dog something to eat on, okay? Okay? Mmm. Mildred said her socks is off. I got a cough. <coughs> mm. I tell you what. Mm. Oh no, they don't. Mm-mm. Don't put the crackers in the oven. Gina, it tastes so good. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Great. Susie Q says, Gina Young style is always on point. I feel like when I'm doing these lives that I'm proving <laughs> my recipes to you guys. Not necessarily to you guys, but some people that like to doubt me, you know? So I love to do the lives. That way they can cook along with me in case they doubted me on anything, you know? They can make it for themselves with me. And then, hey, then you get to see how good it is. Mm -hmm. Because some people say, uh, why are you making all that noise? It's not really that good. It is really that good. <laughs> and I want them to make it. Thank you, Mo. Mm. That's the cornbread that I'm eating right now. I like to smash cornbread between my fingers. And eat it that way. I don't know why I like to do that. Did you wash your hands? Mm -hmm. Dakota is all in those crackers that Grandma used to make. You like them? Are these homemade? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. He said, are these homemade? <laughs> That's right, Susie Q. Don't knock it till you try it. You know, they got to try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, T. Smith makes a great comment there. Y'all, it's going to be even better tomorrow. It will. Dakota, did you tell me you washed your hands? I'm just making yeah, sure. Okay, close my refrigerator because the alarm's going to go off in a minute. I haven't tried that on border tortilla chips. That would be great. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, it does. I, I love the big chunky pieces of um, tomato that's in here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Those little seasoned crackers that we put on here. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You're going to have to heat that up a little bit. Well, you might not. Give them a little bit of lettuce to go with it. Yeah, make it. Make it and let me know what you think. Oh, thank you, Randolph. I, no, I don't. Um, I don't worry about them at all. But I do like to, like I said, I like to do the live cooking so they can make it, taste it, and see for themselves. Thank you, La La Lakita. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. But I've got to go for a rehearsal right now. Okay, th see you, Marcia. Mm. Gina making me hungry. What did Ron say? Uh, makes a great taco salad. Oh, yum. That sounds good. Okay, you're going to separate their food and put it onto a paper towel. On my second bowl, kitty, kitty. Yes. 
I love it. Listen. You like watching the walkthrough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mildred said, I hate that I'm full so fast. <laughs> Good night, Lisa. Thank you for coming in. Mm. Oh, chili fries. How about it? I'm doing well, Diane. How are you? Yeah, we could take the leftover chili. Excuse me. And turn around and put it over some french fries tomorrow or put it over top of some hot dogs for chili sauce because you're always going to have extra chili left over you know and those are options that you could do miss gina does not play in that kitchen thank you ron <laughs> listen i be getting down you hear me thank you valencia i'm so glad cookie six four thank you Valencia, good night. Oh, she said good over tater tots. How about that? Yes. Oh, this is a lot of chili in this bowl here. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's sour cream running all through there. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. Dinner is done. Do a good job. It is so good. Yeah, it's oh, chili. Look at that. That's chili. Yeah. Look, we got sour cream. Got fresh onions. Pretty shredded good. cheese. Hey, remember I was going to grill steaks tonight? Yeah. I think you're going to want some chili. Yeah, I do. We'll do steaks in the morning. Yeah, I don't want a steak. Yeah. Remember that? Chili. Let's see. I would bet your jar, your jar of cheese would be good over your. Ch oh, you bet it would. Oh, that actually sounds good. Yes, you can You can freeze the leftovers. He was thinking about the Fritos also. They're, listen, all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. And then if you want it to, to cut it, don't sit there and eat all the crackers. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, guys, he came in and went in on them crackers. Not after that workout, Dakota. Hello, everyone. I love or love from Pittsburgh. Uh, Gina, I told my friend about the Shack book, and she told me it's good. I told her I'm ordering it from Amazon. Okay, that's great. I can't wait. I got my book right here with me. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yes, you can freeze a yeah, he's got safe room for the chili. I want him to have chili. The chili's healthy for him, you know. But he doesn't want he want doesn't want to have too many of the crackers. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, he is. He's about to heat the chili up. I, I don't think he'll even have to heat it up. It's probably still hot. Mmm. All right. The next person is saying, when is the next boat? Well, the next boat will be on Saturday. Hold on, guys. I need to blow my nose here. I got a napkin. One second. Kathy and I just love this family so much. Listen, I love you guys so much. And you tell Kathy that I love her as well. I do. I seriously do. I am so grateful to have this family that I have right here that I'm speaking to. It's amazing because I don't, I don't have a big family. And uh, I don't have like, my family's not like, we don't have like family that's close what I mean by close is not a close-knit family. 
So, just to be able to know you guys and talk to you and have conversation with you, I just, like I said, this is the best family I could ever ask for. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Let me blow my nose. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I just didn't want to blow my nose on camera. Well, I do need to check it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Good night, Wanda. If Wanda uh, was in here, um, thank you for coming in. Yes, Mimi. I do. I love you guys so much. You keep it real, Gina, and I love your personality. Wanda McMorris, thank you. Gina is getting ready to tell us what she's cooking on Saturday. Okay, okay. Okay, so, oh, what I was going to say, uh, someone had asked, are we voting today on something? No, not today, because um, I'm going to decide tonight um, what I'm going to be making for Saturday. And then on Saturday, when we do face-to-face -face like we're doing right now, um, I'm then going to come in and we'll do a vote for Thursday, what we're going to be making on Thursday, okay? So I'll figure out what we're going to, excuse me, what we're going to be making for Saturday. And then I'll post it as a community post. And then Saturday we'll vote on what we're going to be making on Thursday, okay? I gotta taste this again. I put a whole lot of sour cream in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I know you asked me that. My family does it. It was just kind of like once everybody grew up, got married, and got their own families, and everybody just kind of split up. So that's how I feel like uh, mine's is. Like I said, we, we I just don't have a close-knit family. <laughs> but now I do. <laughs> but now I do. <laughs> and I'm so thankful, and it, 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 it's from God. Mm-hmm. I will put it in the community post. Yes. Have you made Cherry Delight? I have not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop it, Gina. I'm so hungry. Mmm. <laughs> My chili is really light right now because I put so much sour cream in it, but I tell you one thing, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rosalind. We are that way. We're like a fish out of water. Yeah. <laughs> Priscilla, thank you. Thank you, Cookie64. Okay, so Catherine says, I need it. Frosted, shredded wheat cereal. But I have to be honest with you, uh, Catherine. I would love to have some frosted shredded wheat right now. I love it. My grandma used to eat shredded wheat. I don't know if it was the frosted kind. I like it. I might purchase me some so I can have in the morning. What are the choices for Saturday? The power of YouTube. Thank you, Kenny. Yes, absolutely. Because I have... A million family members. <laughs> Almost a million. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I see you piled on the crackers, didn't you? Be honest, though. Is it good? It's great. It's great. Okay. Mm. Times are so different now than in the 80s or 90s. When I was coming up, I miss the closeness of family. Yeah, T. Smith, you're right. I'm late to the party. That's okay. No problem. What'd you say, honey? 
Oh, okay. Thank you, Angela. There who goes? What's Cindy Bates talking about? Gina, thank you so much for teaching how to cook. I didn't know how to cook American recipes. Oh, okay, this is a great... Okay, so Tanisha Nantaba says, Thank you, Gina, for teaching me how to cook. I didn't know how to cook American recipes and others. You're from Africa and Uganda. Oh, okay. Okay, well, welcome to the channel. And, um... Hey, welcome, and I'm more than glad to show you how to make American dishes, you know, or all kinds of dishes. As long as you have the time to watch the video or watch the live, you're definitely going to learn how to cook it. Jacqueline says, I love to cook your dishes. That's great. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> You deserve your success. You are beautiful. Thank you. I do too. I love African food. Your recipes are so good and tasty. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good night, Cookie64. Hi, Gina. Your recipes are good and tasty. Thank you, Mika Moore. How are you? Good night, Brenda. I'll see you on Saturday. Yes, I've done plantains several times, and I've made it a lot of times when I cook. Um, I'd like to say when I cook Puerto Rican food or when I make my cabbage. When I make cabbage, I like to have plantains with my cabbage. It's just amazing. I like the sweet ones. Sometimes I'll make the kind that's not so sweet, but I really like to get the darker plantains so that they're nice and sweet. He said, I love cereal. I do too. Thank you, Anisha. Thank you, T. Smith. Oh, Derek, he's, he's talking about Gina taking another bite. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. This one right here is going to be my last bite. I get full pretty quickly. Mm. See you on Saturday, Jacqueline. I will use this chili for next chili competition. Absolutely. And you know what? You're going to knock their socks off with that recipe. I don't cook yucca. Um, I, I don't cook it. I think you can use the yucca to make the fufu. You, you know, you see them eating the fufu. I think you can use that yucca root for that. But it's not something that I eat, you know. It's a Gina, I like spicy chili. How can I make it spicy? Well, you can start off by putting some jalapenos in there. <laughs> Habanero peppers in there. Um, you know, something like that. You could even put red pepper flakes in. So jalapenos. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, what'd you say, baby? <laughs> um, habaneros or red pepper flakes. Put either one of those in them, and you'll get some spice. You could even throw some hot sauce in there. There are some hot sauces out there that are really hot. You put it in there, you'll really be able to enjoy the spice, you know. I can't wait to make this chili, says Les Le Lily or Leslie. Banana peppers, maybe. Absolutely. A 
first time love chatting. Okay. And that's Quintero Taylor. Hopefully I said your name right. How did the pulled pork turn out? Oh, listen. That pulled pork was so good. I turned Dino Reapers. You never seen me eat before. <laughs> yeah, because for the nine months I had braces and then, you know, I can't eat on camera with the braces. Um, what's for dessert? I have ice cream, snicker bars in the freezer. That's what's for dessert. Oh my goodness, they are so good. You guys never had them before. You have to try them. And then I also have, um, it's like strawberry ice cream bars. Mm, mm, mm. It was. Thank you, Saj. Oh, LA winning tonight. I thought she said this was a winner tonight. Oh, you didn't make the chili, Katina. Oh, it's okay. I just ate a Snicker bar, a fun size. Oh, yeah. Oh, you said I love Snicker bars. Yeah, but when they're frozen, they are so delicious. Because it's weird because, so you got the frozen ice cream, you have the chocolate, you got the peanuts, and then like they make the caramel to where it's like really, like I don't understand if it's frozen, how is the caramel still like melty? It's, it's really beautiful. Oh, you love them. Q, what's your name? Uh, QB84. Cayenne pepper, absolutely. So there, there are so many options that you could use to make it spicy. So use my recipe and then see, here's what I would do. So you use my recipe and then you turn around and put um, a jalapeno or habanero. If you put the habanero, I suggest that you take the habanero, keep in mind that it's hot, you poke uh, like one hole in it with like a knife, just one hole, and you let it just steep and just like, like slowly release that little bit of heat. And when you feel like it's given the right heat, then you take it out. When you chop it up, when you start to chop that habanero up, then you wanna burn somebody's socks off because that's the type of hot that it is. But if you just poke a hole in it and let it sit in that chili and just kind of steep in there, it's gonna let off the perfect amount and then you can just take it out whole and then toss it. So you could do that or cut up some jalapenos. <laughs> Sonia, did you make Gina's Oreo ice cream? You said, I did and it's so good. And that's Shannon talking. And, and Sonia says, Derek, this is one of Gina's. Derek, this is one of Dina's subscribers. <laughs> Katrina wants to know who you are. Katrina wants to know who you are, who who is. Hmm. What do you mean in your comments, Katrina? What do you mean in your comments, Katrina? I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm not understanding her question. Gina, I want to make your cabbage, but cannot add no meat. That is pork. What other meat can be used for it? I thought I answered, I answered it um, in my video that I did earlier today where I answered the Q&A questions. What you could do is, I'm confused too with Kathina's question. Okay, okay, so you're gonna use smoked turkey, all right, for your cabbage since you can't use pork. You're gonna use a smoked turkey wing or a smoked turkey leg, okay? Or you could use turkey bacon. If I were to make it, this is how I would make the cabbage without the pork. So I would take some smoked turkey wings, right? I would boil them for an, for an hour to get them nice and tender, right? Boil them for an hour with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, right? So you, you have about maybe this much water in your pan. You're boiling the smoked turkey wings, right? After an hour, you go ahead and chop your cabbage up, 
throw that cabbage right on top of the smoked turkey meat, smoked turkey wings that have been boiling for an hour, right? You can put a couple bell peppers in there, put a lid on it and just let it cook. Now, at some point, the cabbage is, uh, is going to start to cook and your meat will begin to fall off the bone on your smoked turkey. So you wanna take the smoked turkey out, right? Put it on the cutting board, take the skin off, take all the meat off of that smoked turkey, put it back into the pot, and you're gonna have some of the best cabbage you have ever had, okay? It does, your cabbage does not have to have pork in order for it to taste delicious, okay? So you totally would love it, you hear me? I may even do a recipe like that so you can see how I would do it, okay? Because it would be delicious and much more healthier than using the pork. Saj and Christopher said, y'all gonna have me in stitches again? Gina said, you can add smoked turkey, smoked turkey wings or smoked turkey legs. Yes, how do you mean different, Kathina? What is Kathina saying in here? Let's see. Okay, let me read these messages here to see what's happening. I'm still with you guys, okay? Let me see. Not sure, his comments seem different. Okay. The lighting is on you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. I wasn't sure how the lighting was. How do you mean different, Kathina? They are good, G. Fergus. Derek E's, you are different. What? Oh, the dessert inquiries. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gina, just getting off work, you didn't get my question on the video. Also, how do you prep and plan for the holiday to have it ready in a timely manner? Okay. All right, so let me, let me tell you. How do you have your meal ready in a timely manner for the holidays? Well, I start to cook the day before the holiday. I don't do all of my holiday cooking on that specific holiday, okay? If there's things that I can cook the day before, I'm going to. You see what I'm saying? Because like there's things like your greens, cook them the day before. There's things like um, baked macaroni, cook it the day before. You know, you can make desserts the day before. Sweet potatoes, make them the day before. And then the day of, you're gonna be worn out. So you don't wanna be doing all this cooking on that day. You're gonna be having family coming in. You might wanna clean your house or whatever, right? So if that's the situation, do like I do and cook the food the day before. Now. The foods the day of the holiday, I'm gonna tell you what I make the day of. I make my turkey the day of, or my ham. I'll make mashed potatoes the day of, and the dressing the day of. Maybe, and also my uh, gravy. Other stuff, potato salad, um, you know, anything else under the sun that you can think of, that stuff was done the day before. Even my cranberry sauce. Make it the day before, it only takes you 15 minutes to make it, and then you put it in the refrigerator. Now, and then, when people come, you know, you can start taking things out, letting it come up to room temperature, and then they can make their own plates, you know? So you take the food out of the refrigerator in enough time that the chill will come off of it and all they have to do is make their plates and throw it in the microwave, you know? All right. Let's see. Gina, can you fry turkey parts? Um, I have not. I just have to be honest with you. I haven't um, and I probably wouldn't. 
if it was me, I probably wouldn't because I like to have baked, you know, I like to have my turkey baked. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> what is Christopher saying? He said he's going to attack Saj. <laughs> I'm falling out laughing over here. That's Debbie Parker. Yeah, prep, cut up everything, season your meat. Now listen, like even the day before, I'll turn around, cut up my celery, onions, bell peppers, anything that might need cut up. And if you're making um, giblet gravy like I do, then you take um, your gizzards and your necks, if you cook the turkey neck, whatever you do, go ahead and boil that with some onions and celery. Get all that stuff done and out the way. You know, there's so many things you can do today because I'm, because um, like so many, so many different things you can do the day before. Fried turkey, yeah, they say it tastes good, but I'm afraid to fry a turkey. It's just too big. I am too. I'm getting really excited for the holiday, but can you freeze cook sweet potato pies? Uh, uh, I, I would like to say yes. If I'm wrong, I'll come back and tell you guys. I feel like you can freeze, a, yes you can. You can freeze sweet potato pies and you can freeze um, pumpkin pies. You know, we buy them all the time frozen, right? In the freezer section. Yes, you can. Yes, avoid the holiday burnout. I'm gonna show you guys how to make pumpkin pies. Yes, I am. I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin pie. And another thing that I like to make for the holidays is my pasta salad. Um, either my linguine salad or my pasta salad is just beautiful for the holidays. It's something light. You know, you don't have to feel weighed down. And for those people that don't want heavy stuff like baked macaroni and mashed potatoes, they can have pasta salad and some turkey, you know? Y'all do. <laughs> I have no clue what y'all are laughing about right now. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> have you ever fried turkey wings? I have not. Right now. What is, what is that beeping noise? I thought it was my dishwasher. Um, I don't hear a beeping noise. I don't know. Yeah, it might not be here. Oh, okay. Hello, Gina Gibson. How are you? You need something, honey? <laughs> I want to sit and eat like everyone else. Oh, Erka, listen, next time, like on Saturday, you can cook with us, okay? On Saturday, you cook with us. I'm not sure what I'm going to be making, but tonight I'm going to decide. And then you'll see a community post from me tomorrow, and I'm going to let you guys know what I'm going to be making. I, um, I should let you guys know tonight. Oh, Gina Gibson says she's doing well. Okay, that's great. Oh, yeah, I don't hear no beeping either. Yeah, V. Sanford, thank you. Oh, you said your dishwasher makes that beeping sound? Okay. Oh, you... The chili was great. Thank you, Latricia. I'm glad. You should let us know, please. <laughs> oh, 
All my messages are gone. What happened? Is that right? He said, chili is your favorite. What you making in tomorrow's video? Um, tomorrow is Friday. I was thinking about, I was thinking about making a fish of filet. And um, I'm not sure about this second video. If I do a second video, I'm, I'm just really not sure. But I know I'm gonna do a filet of fish. Cause I have an amazing recipe for a filet of fish and it is really, really delicious. And making homemade um, tartar sauce and all that. Mm-hmm. Gina, I can't wait to see what you're cooking Saturday. I do too, I love the fish. Uh-huh. So, um, I, okay, so I was thinking about, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys some of the things that I was thinking about for Saturday. I was thinking about making homemade pizzas on Saturday. What do you guys think about that? I think it'll be something quick. And I feel like after we're done making pizzas, we can maybe throw some chocolate chip cookies in the oven or something. That's just what I was thinking. But then I had two other thoughts in mind as well. <laughs> so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still on the edge about what I'm gonna be making for Saturday, you know. Yeah, okay, you said pizza sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm after your heart. Jackie says, Gina, you're after my heart with the pizza. <laughs> You've been wanting to learn how to make homemade pizzas. Okay. It has been fun, right? Football about to come up. Can't wait. Pizza Saturdays. Yeah. Start tonight? Start tonight. First oh, game tonight. Okay, first game tonight. Okay. Yeah, so I'm really on the verge. I will make some Rasta pasta. It's been a couple of years since I made it for you guys, but I feel like the world needs to know all about Rasta pasta. So I will make you some of that, but I'm not making it on Saturday, you know, because most people don't know what that is. But I feel like I'm going to make the pizzas, you know, because on Saturdays, I just have to be honest, I don't want to make a really huge meal. But then I also thought about making a rotisserie chicken. We'll, we'll, we'll just see, because I'm on the verge of still thinking. I, I gotta, I gotta, when I lay in the bed tonight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really choose. Mr. Young, Ohio beat us last week, says Ron Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> he laughing. No, it was a good game. He, he said it was a good game. It was a good game. He said it was a good was game. A good he said, they're going to be all right this no, year. No, they're going to be all right this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I see. <coughs> Hold on, guys. <coughs> no, I felt like when I was talking. I was smelling at the same time. Ugh. <laughs> they said, you okay, Gina? <laughs> and I just start coughing. Hold on, let me wipe my eyes. <clears throat> oh, so somebody has said, somebody said pizza and wings. Yeah. Now the pizza and wings sounds good. <laughs> For Saturday. So now you got me thinking. <clears throat> because the wings take a while, you know. So, I'm, so I would have to really see if I'm going to have the energy. Are you going to have the energy to make wings and pizza? <laughs> Somebody said only 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just see. 
I might surprise you guys. You never know. I got something to drink here. I just felt like I was smiling and talking, and I just start coughing. <clears throat> okay, somebody says pizza. That's Melissa. She says pizza with barbecue wings. Gina, you have the best channel on YouTube ever. Thank you, Brandy. <clears throat> Uh-oh, Kathy says pizza, pizza, pizza. Ah, uh, thank you, Lynette. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll figure it out. But I want I want Saturday to be so much fun, but I don't want us in the kitchen like cooking all day. You know what I mean? I want us to be able to sit down, chat. We're going to have a good time. We're going to cook up something. It's going to be delicious and quick. You know that everybody's going to love, but like I said, we're going to try not to be in the kitchen all day. So we'll see. Heck, we might turn around and y'all see a post notification from me um, saying that we're not even making pizza. <laughs> it could be something whole different. <laughs> oh, thank you, um, Mika. You have an amazing personality. Gina, keep on shining. Thank you. Do you make your own pizza dough? I don't. I just have to be honest because there is too many times that I found out that you can purchase delicious pizza dough and you can make amazing pizza that way. And so that's what I use. <clears throat> Your cake better than anything. My goodness, somebody says, um, looks amazing and you can't wait to make it and eat it. You know what, I, we should, I wonder, if, I wonder if it would be a big turnout if I made that. I, people would, people are going nuts over that recipe, right? <clears throat> okay, somebody says make sweet chili wings. Oh, you made sweet chili wings and they didn't last a long time. <laughs> oh, it just says um, the youngs are life, our story, and our home. <laughs> <laughs> pizza and salad is great yeah it is so that would be a great one she said um gina get an air fryer it's quick and easy i know you don't like using an air fryer <laughs> oh you talk about for the wings but you know what the people that want to make wings okay let me let, let me let me think about this Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. You never know. <laughs> I see Latricia is cracking up. I'm not going to let y'all pressure me. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Supreme or meat lover's pizza? Smack so hard. <laughs> okay. Hi, Gina. Can you make a white sauce pizza? Um, uh, see, a white sauce pizza for me would be using, this is just for me, would be using a Caesar dressing for the white sauce or ranch dressing, you know, or, I mean, you could definitely make a bechamel sauce, um, which is like, it's kind of like a white cheese sauce. Uh, that would be really interesting. Okay, let me see. Now that it's going to be getting colder outside, you're going to sit outside on Saturday? I love seeing your backyard. Oh, okay. Maybe, yeah. If it's a good day, we can possibly go out. Ooh, I'm pulling a piece of skin off my hand. Remember I told y'all I had a paper cut? Oh my goodness. Ooh, remember I told you I had a paper cut right here? Mm. Let's see, Gina, whatever you choose, make on Saturday. I'll be just, I'll be game for it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We'll figure it out. Whatever it is, it's going to be delicious. Okay, so Steelers82 says, put the wings in the air fryer. See, I don't have an air fryer because I don't use the air fryer. But I do have... We'll see. 
<laughs> I just pulled that skin off of there. It's bleeding now. Oh my goodness. Ooh wee. Put some Vaseline on the paper cut. Yeah, so I got a paper cut. It was like last week, and now there was like a scab right there. But I got the pick in it, Lord. <clears throat> What the cr oh, <laughs> you know what I'm about to get me some pizza right now. <laughs> All the talking about pizza, right? Put some super glue on your paper cut. It's it always worked for me. Is that right? That's really interesting. Get you something called skin from Walmart coworker to I I've heard of that. Um, let's see and put it on there. Yeah, I've heard of that before. Oh, you like thin crust? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It might not even be pizza, but we'll see. It'll definitely be something that you go that you all want to see. Oh, okay, if I get one, it'll change your life, okay. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you said Pizza Hut's is good too? They are, Miss Karen, right? They're like the worst. And it's such a little teeny tiny cut, you know, but it hurts, especially if you get it in a spot like that, like right there, the web of your hand. Oh, that, that thing hurt. <laughs> did i miss out on the voting or is the voting just on saturday the voting's just going to be on saturday because um i decide what we're going to make for saturday okay i i'm on the verge of thinking of what we're going to make tonight i'll decide <laughs> Oh, you do? You like green peppers and black olives? Yeah, I like green peppers and, and black olives. You never heard of super glue on a paper? I, I haven't heard of that either. They <laughs> said it means it's working. <clears throat> Brisket pizza, never heard of it a day in my life. But I tell you what, you'd have to go through some hard work to get that brisket nice and tender and then just to put it on the pizza. <laughs> it reminds you of that. Oh, okay. Oh, somebody says, Gina, make. Where's it at? I thought somebody said, Gina, make your fruit pizza. <laughs> I made a fruit pizza and everybody thought it was so interesting. Okay, so Saj is saying, I did a moving job and cut my finger on a thick piece of wood. I kept on moving, but after that, that sucker started stinging. Ooh, I know it did, my goodness. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a Band-Aid on it. But I'm kind of glad that big, um, scab came off because it was a funky looking scab you know in that area i didn't want that scab there you should surprise us on what we're going to cook i am <clears throat> i am i shouldn't even got y'all going about the pizza <laughs> let me see oh you can make chili burgers yes you can Stuff shrimps. I um I don't even know how I would stuff shrimp. Oh Queenie, she mentioned the fruit pizza. Okay. Just literally spotted you on my feed. Glad I did, subscribed, and looking forward to your recipes. Thank you. 
Thank you, Despair X. Hey, welcome to the channel, everybody. Welcome, Despair X, to the channel. Hey, thank you for coming in. Gina, you don't put, oh, okay, you says, Gina, you don't put that super glue on your hand. Yeah, no, I'm not. I heard him talking about the super glue, but I don't have any intentions on using it. No. <laughs> That's them talking about the super glue. <laughs> Yes, I'm the type to keep going when I'm working, Miss Karen. Okay, welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. Prawns are like huge shrimp. You can stuff them. Oh, okay, I definitely know about the, the um, prawns being so big and you can stuff them. But uh, I don't know if everybody would be able to find them. You know? Oh, you're welcome, Despair X. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Scorpio says, anything you cook will be fabulous. Put some neosporin in it. I am. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some, uh, I have some peroxide. I'll put some peroxide on it. I want to get it nice and clean. And then I have some medicated band-aids that I'm going to put on there with uh, a little bit of Neosporin on it. Oh, you're ready for holiday cocktail recipes. Yeah. A lot of people were actually asking me for um, recipes for like finger foods. And I will be doing that for the holiday. I have all kinds of little snacks and finger foods that we can put together in a quick cinch. And it's hardly going to cost you anything. But it's, it's stuff that your family members is going to totally love when they see your dinner table. You know, and they're going to be, how did you make this? You know, I have a recipe where you take, um, ha have you guys ever seen the pretzels? that looks like a little window. It's about this big, right? And it looks like a window, right? It has like little lines going this way and lines going that way, but they're square. You turn around and put the Rolo candy bar on it. You know what the Rolo is? It's chocolate and it has caramel on it. Well, you turn around and you take those pretzel, you put one of the Rolo's candies on top, and then you put a little bit of crushed um, candy cane on top. You bake it in the oven. It's just like for like two minutes until that Rolo barely begins to melt onto that pretzel. You sprinkle it with candy cane. It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful and it tastes delicious and you can have that for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And when people see it, they go nuts over it. And so you want to make a lot <laughs> because people love it. You haven't heard Rolos in years, yeah. But that dessert, it, it's crazy because you have the pretzel. Everybody loves like a salty pretzel, right? Everybody loves chocolate and caramel. And then when you melt that Rolo a little bit, and then you put the really interesting flavor of the candy cane on top. Listen, that's one of the recipes. And things can be made like that. All kinds of things can be made like that. That is so simple. Heck, for the holiday, you can make pigs in a blanket out of the little uh, smoky sausages that are this big and roll them up in crescent rolls, right? Bake them in the oven and serve it as an appetizer and your family's gonna eat, they're gonna eat it and they're gonna be happy that it's there. You know, you don't have to make meals that take an hour and a half to cook. You don't, you don't, because anything you put out on that dinner table, they're gonna eat it. <laughs> Hello, Margaret J. You said you're just tuning in. Well, welcome. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Shannon Long, how are you? How's Shannon Long doing? Thank you for coming in and joining us. You put pecans on the top. Hey, listen, absolutely. Have fun with that stuff. And I told you all, oh, you said um, you remember the Vaseline that was in the brown container. It's like a dark brown container, yeah. Um, 
Uh, I forgot what the heck I was going to say, Sonia. It was something about what you, uh, was it, let's see. It, it'll come to me. If it doesn't, it wasn't that important. If I can't remember, <laughs> I hate to forget something I was getting ready to say. Yeah, the pecan. You can put that on top. Oh, I know what I was going to say. There's another recipe that I like to do this for the holiday, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I take cheese, you know what cheese it crackers are, right? And then I take the holiday M&M's, the peanut kind, or n not the peanut kind, the holiday M&M's, I don't think it's the peanut kind, the kind that are not peanut. And it's red and of course it's green. So you mix the holiday M&M's in with the um, Cheez-Its. And then I believe I put pretzels in there. I feel like there was one other thing that I put in there. Mix that baby up, throw it in a Tupperware dish. People can't stop eating it. They love the salty of the Cheez-Its, the crunch from the pretzels. And then you got um, the chocolate from the holiday M&M's. It's beautiful color and it tastes good. You got the sweet and the salty, you got the crunchy from the pretzels. That's something like that. I make it every year, toss it together, put a lid on it or foil. They love it. There's so many different things like that that you can make. <laughs> you, heck, you can make, you could turn around and make a meat tray or make a vegetable tray with dip. Listen here, it'd be a hit. They'll eat it. <laughs> Hi, Kathy Mallory. How are you? I, I, it's the plain chocolate M&Ms. Yeah, thank you. It does sound good, right? Because it is. You like the peppermint Hershey Kisses. You could do that. You get those peppermint Hershey Kisses, put it on that pretzel that looks like the window. And you, it, you, listen, you can go wrong. Let me tell you how you can go wrong. You can go wrong if you let it melt too long. If you let it, the, op, the, op, the object is just to throw it in the oven real quick to where it barely begins to melt. Because when you take it out, it's still going to be cooking. So you want it to go from this to this, right? From this to this. You don't want it to go from this state to this because once it goes to this state, then it's melting all through your pretzel. That's not what we're trying to do. We just want it to melt a little bit. So if the Rolo or your Hershey Kiss is this high, you want it to just melt down to here, right? Okay, as soon as you see that happen in your oven, take it out, <laughs> take it out so it can stop melting, okay? Once it gets way down here, throw the whole batch away, you know? So you gotta stay right near the oven. Yeah, the tiny twist pretzel, but I don't, I wouldn't use a tiny twist pretzel because it has big holes in it. So if it's a tiny twist pretzel and it's, you know, you, you know, it has bigger holes. That one that looks like the window, it has small holes. It's a pretzel, it has small holes in it and it holds everything. It's just perfect, okay? You gotta trust me on that. <laughs> oh, you're doing fine. I'm doing great, Kathy. Thank you for asking. You got to go. Okay, thank you for coming in, and I will. I'll see you on Saturday, okay? How many of you remember bowls with the fruit and that hard Christmas candy? Yeah, I do. Thank you, Royale. Are those pretzel snaps? The small windows? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna show you because I, I don't think a lot of people understand. Let me see. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna type it in here so you guys can see what it looks like. Here they are. How great, I got a great picture for you. Okay, look at that, that's what they look like. You see that? That's what they look like. Yes. And then you know those holiday gumdrops that are different colors that has the sugar on them? 
You can put them on there as well. Throw them in the oven just real quick to where they barely melt. You just want them to stick to the pretzel. Delicious, okay? Yes, we already cooked. <laughs> Ariana, we cooked at four o'clock. Oh, it's six o'clock. <laughs> I, yep, um, I showed you guys how to make the puppy chow. Um, I don't believe that's what I called it. I can't remember what I call it. I, I showed you guys how to make that out of the Chex Mix. Put that on your dinner table. People go crazy over it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you do. You said, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, guys, I am really, really, really extremely, extremely tired. I'm going to get off of here, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean this cut on my hand. It's not bleeding anymore. I'm going to clean that cut on my hand. I'm going to get some PJs on, and I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I had such a great time with you all tonight. Um, I feel like I need to just sit down and relax. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to get off of here. Give me a big hug. And tomorrow I'm going to be telling you guys what we're going to be cooking. It's going to be a surprise what we're going to be cooking on Saturday. And the time on Saturday is going to be 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Give me a big hug and then I'm going to get off of here, right? I had so much fun with you guys. I'm sorry we're not staying on later. Thank but <laughs> my husband said thank y'all. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna get off of here and get some rest, okay? Give me a big old hug. Give me a hug, give me a hug. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much, okay? You're gonna hear from me tomorrow. I'm gonna be making, um, filet of fish <coughs> and possibly another video tomorrow. Going live 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. So you'll see my community post and I'm gonna say, hey, this is what I decided to make. I might even do a video on what we're gonna make. We'll just see, it all depends on how I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna get off of here. I see all the good nights. Oh, you remember the heart candy bowl? Uh-huh, all right, I'm gonna get off of here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you Saturday. And as always, God bless you all. Thank y'all for watching. Good night. I'll see y'all later, okay? Everybody have a good night.